<laughs> Good day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albino Random Beer Review. Another beer sent to me by Dale from Brew By Me. We are drinking the Red Razor India Pale Ale. Now, I said earlier that, that one of the reasons you probably don't see this in Ontario too much is it's a risque bottle. Well, label. Look at that. It's a woman whose underwear are showing. She has her garter there. Her boobs are kind of popping out. She's on a racer. That's pretty awesome. It is pretty awesome. Um, Red Racer was the best beer in BC from 2008 to 2009. That's kind of cool. But that could mean that BC doesn't have any good beer. We'll find out. Central City Brewing Company, Surrey, BC. 6.5% alcohol. It has to tell you it's craft brewed, which... Whatever. An ale fashioned to survive the long void from England. It's the first one that's actually talking. It actually said it. <laughs> Alright, okay. An ale fashioned to survive the long voyage it from already England gets to, to, Italy, to India during the British colonization. Hops, hops, and more hops. This ale has an intense aroma and a long lingering finish. Drink it as an appetizer or on its own, or pour it with any hearty dish. A beer for the connoisseur. This is the brewmaster's choice. Cheers. Yeah, I, I like that they've already admitted that this beer is supposed to last. Like I said, Drink it, it right away! Drink it right away! Wow, they talked that beer up really good. <laughs> and then it's a can. Awesome. Hey, cans rule. What? Right? That's the best looking IPA or not quite IPA we've had tonight. <laughs> nice head. Slightly cloudy. Not really, but slightly. A little bit of carbonation. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. It Why does. Do it's, sippy cup, well, that's not a sippy cup. That is the Toronto Beer Festival cup, okay? Hang on, hang on. Check it out. If you look closely, you can see little bits. Oh, you got bits again? They look like little. Yeah, they're falling and not rising. They are definitely bits. I got bits again. <laughs> drink the bits. I will drink the bits. Go away. It's probably dry hop. That's probably what it is. Look at that garter belt. I wonder what type of hops are in there. Lady hops. Lady hops? <laughs> Lady hops. <laughs> that sounds nice, doesn't it? Lady hops? Noble Lady hops. Noble hops. Some noble hops in there. That's not noble. <laughs> um, you could probably use that, that bike seat for the yeast, too. <laughs> well, I, look, I, it's a red razor, so it has a banana seat. So <laughs> I, what a... What I'm thinking is, is that that picture is actually just a, an artistic concept of showing you the brewing process. <laughs> the brewing process. Put a girl on a banana seat. Beer. Okay. <laughs> um, oh boy. Yeah. It smells like what it says it is. Hops, yep. hops, and more hops. Mm -hmm. You can get, there's some warrior in there, some cascade. Definitely cascade. Um... A little, <laughs> it does have some grapefruit scents to it too. Oh yeah. <laughs> but yeah, Cascade Warrior. Uh, a lot of grapefruit actually. Thank you for that. That helps me a little bit. A little bit, yeah. yeah. Hmm. Chad, when you finish this off, I have a question about IPAs for you. Sure. Let's do this. Let's try this before he starts talking. Mmm. Well, you know, it's not as bitter as the smell made me think it would be. Oh, no? Mmm. <laughs> mmm. <laughs> Hang on. Once I finally got to swallowing... <laughs> Easy, guys. Uh, the bitterness is almost like... You, you said about the grapefruit, right? The bitterness is almost like biting into like a, a, a grapefruit. Yeah, it's, it's like, gone like, so quickly. Yeah, and it's not... Um, That's what I'm talking about. It did not go like I thought it was going to go. Hmm. Hmm. Just don't hold it in your mouth. That was my first mistake. I know. Uh, actually, it kind of tastes like a pink grapefruit. What, the red. Weird? There's bits. I always get the bits. <laughs> mm. And back to the review. 
Again with the grapefruit, though. Yes, very, very grapefruity, very citrusy. It actually is nice, in truth. For an IPA that is supposed to be the best beer in BC, which made me scared, and is supposed to be a really good IPA and a 6.5% alcohol, and actually talks about hops, hops, and more hops, and being a beer that's made to last, it actually is not bad, all things considered. You know, I really do like the fact that, I mean, putting the brewing process right on the can is unbelievable. I mean, no holds barred. I mean, this, this, this is how our beer is made, like it or leave it, and this is how it tastes. It's great. I mean, you know, I Lady Hops is okay in my books. Does Hops, uh, like, not make you know, beer go skunky? Is that what they're talking about? Well, Hops is neat. Even if the beer went skunky and there was enough hops in it, you wouldn't taste anything but the hops anyway. Yeah. <laughs> it's just so bloody strong. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm actually really enjoying this. I'm going to finish it, which is awesome. And um, if somebody, if I didn't see this can and somebody said this was the best beer in BC, I'd probably believe them. Yeah, very citrusy, very very floral, very bitter. But the bitterness fades right away. It's awesome. I would actually give this an 8 out of 10 for a night. Like an IPA, it's amazing. I would it's drink great. it again. I mean, as, as an IPA, I think it's one of the best I've ever had. That like it's it's balanced. It tastes great. Um, as a beer, on my side, just because I don't generally drink them, um, I'm gonna have to go a little higher. I think because uh, I'm very surprised that uh, they made something like that that I could drink that well. I'm gonna have to go probably uh, maybe an eight and a half on this one. I think it's all right. This is great. Eight so and a half. An eight, Even after your and initial an eight and a half. Of yeah. spewing it all over Thank the you table. for watching the Albino Rhino beer review. Beer drinking all of you. Bye. Yeah, that was fucking weird. I wanted to run away at the first sip, but that's fucking dynamite.